Welcome to the Porn Free, Shame Free podcast, produced by Caleb Micah Ministries. We hope God uses this resource to help you pursue freedom found only in Jesus. Well, hey, really appreciate you joining us. Uh, we're you know, talking about this idea of BLAST acronym. Um, you know, BLAST is what are the different things in my heart that might trip me up that lead me to sexual temptation. We're looking at um, the letter A in the word blast today, we're looking at afraid. Uh, and, you know, fear, believe it or not, can be one of the things, or feeling af- afraid can be one of the things that leads me to sexual sin. Like if you have a battle with anxiety um, and some level of fear, um, pornography can actually like be something that you use to calm that fear down. And... It makes sense to me. It doesn't mean I like it. It doesn't mean I think that you're doing yourself any favors when you do, but it makes sense to me why you would. And what I want to show you, like scripturally, in the midst of the fear, I want to give you two tools from scripture to help you. The first one's in 1 John chapter 4, verse 17 and 18. It says, but this is love perfected with us so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment because as he is also We are in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Fear has to do with punishment, but whoever fears has not been perfected in love. This idea that if I'm in the midst of my fear, do I need someone to yell at me to have more faith? Do I need someone to yell at me to trust? No, what I need is for God to overwhelm me with his love. One of the ways that I do this personally is I just write down the ways that I know God loves me. Something I might encourage you to try. What do I do in the midst of my fear when I feel afraid? I need to be reminded that I'm loved and perfected in love so that fear will be cast out. Another um, thought is in Philippians chapter four. Philippians is a book that was written by Paul in verses six and seven. What Paul writes is do not be anxious but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be named, made known to God. Key part here, he says, don't be anxious, make your request to God. But when you do so, do so with gratitude. And then it says in verse seven, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. If I want peace in my heart that I cannot understand, it can only come from the Lord. And one of the ways that he does that is when I'm afraid, when I'm anxious, I can tell him what I'm anxious about, but I also need to rest in things I'm thankful for. Because if I'm rest, I'm putting 1 John 4 and Philippians 4 together here. If I'm resting in what I'm grateful for, that's also helping me be reminded of how I'm loved. Guys, I'm going to tell you, I I sure would like the peace that surpasses all understanding far more than a great orgasm. In the midst of feeling afraid and feeling anxious, would you be willing to let the Lord overwhelm you with his love? Would you try to put yourself in a position where your heart could be flooded with gratitude? And could you see if that helps you the next time you're tempted? Father, thank you for how your love meets us in the midst of our fear. God, thank you for all that you've done, especially allowing Jesus to come, to live, to die, to resurrect, to make a path for us to know you. God, would your love lead us to life and freedom that comes only from you. We say this in your name. Amen.